while trying to be a little more eco-friendly, I grew a lot of plants and little glass jars. But did you notice what I used for germination to get the seeds started? Little plastic lids. It kind of comes with your frosty beverage. Now the plants aren't growing in it. It's just holding the humidity in while they sprout. So next time you eat out, you can save your lid. Imagine how many of those you've thrown in the trash. Now you can help the planet. And grow microgreens. And if you don't drink a lot of soda pop, your dog can help. Whoa, let's take a step backwards. We've been growing a lot of stuff in these clay pebbles. And some of you asked how I clean them in between crops. So I'll just show you what I do. And there's a lot of other people out there that sanitize it with hydrogen peroxide. Some bleach it. Some put it into a dehydrator or bake it in an oven. I might do that at some point. But all I've been doing is rinsing mine out. Separating the roots. I just drop them in a strainer. And I pick through it a little bit, get the big roots out. And then I set it in the sun. I'll let it get hot. Those little tiny roots are no match for the heat. They'll just dry up. And you can just sift through it, pick out any little debris that's left. And I start all over again. Keep on growing. Paper or plastic? We've heard that a million times, right? Now these cardboard cups are good in a pinch, but you can only use them once or twice, and you can't see where the water level is at. I usually just pick them up to see how heavy they feel. But with these clear plastic cups, you know exactly how much water is in there. Then you won't be surprised one morning when you come out and all your plants are dried up. You know what I mean. And if the water level is not clear because of these clay pebbles, you can just tilt the jar a little. Plus, it's cool to see the roots growing. So out of these three types of containers so far, I'm really liking the glass. But we're going to try a lot of other things, see what we can grow. And if you're like my son using these food containers, some of them are thin. You can see right through them. You know exactly how much water's in there. Not like my cup. I can't tell. I have to pick it up. What's your favorite so far? Let me know and keep on growing. Alright, people were asking about the microgreens when they heard I put nutrients in it. They said, I thought you only needed water. So we planted a batch in water. Got some lettuce, bok choy, collards, and red cabbage. These are about six days old. Half of that time was germination. The other half they've been under the grow lights. So we'll let them go a few days more. They'll be at the microgreen stage and you can harvest them and totally do it with just water. And then I'm gonna let a couple of these go, see how far they can get before they get into trouble. See if they get as big as our kale, which is about two weeks old, or our pak choy. All right, follow along if you wanna see how these turn out.
All right, after seeing all of this green and people asking, what do you do with all that pak choy? We decided to add some color and a lot more variety. So besides broccoli, arugula, and kale, we've got radish and amaranth. We also use different microgreens that grow at different rates. So this crop won't be coming in all at once. The radish and clover grow really fast. Well, things like the basil and the cilantro take a while. We're just showing you different examples and the potential of what you can do. Just grow what you need, have fun, enjoy, and keep on growing. All right, got a lot to show you here. Gonna try and make it fast, so pay attention. We've got a couple microgreens left from the second crop. These are the ones that took a little longer to germinate, like the basil and cress and cilantro, but they're doing good now. And we already harvested pak choy, kale, radishes, so now we're ready for this. Now on this shelf in the glass containers, we have microgreens growing in just water. That's for everyone who had a question about that. These are one week old, can let them go another couple of days. And when I'm done filming, we'll turn the grow lights on here. Now down here is our next experiment where we've got them growing in seaweed solution. I believe it's kelp. And we're gonna see how these guys do. They're growing in the cardboard soup cups and the compostable plastic. And we also replanted all of that pak choy that was in the original glass containers. These are gonna be in the seaweed solution too and see if we can't get similar results. All right, stick around as we test more eco-friendly containers and organic nutrients. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Keep on growing. I wanted to see if I could grow plants in a yogurt cup. So I made some holes in them threw in some clay pebbles, and put them in a container of nutrients, sprinkled some seeds on it, and in a couple of days they sprouted. In about a week, with no work at all, I had some microgreens to harvest. So to experiment a little more, I thinned some out. I left some as they were, and I replanted the ones that I ate. Yum. Then I put them back out in the sun, and a few days later, the seed sprouted again. One of the easiest ways I found to grow. So this worked awesome, but because I'm trying to make my hydroponics plastic free, I'm getting rid of these containers too. It might be a challenge to replicate this, but that's all part of the fun. Stick around, keep on growing.